Hey, welcome back to my YouTube channel, guys. Today, we are going to talk about food. Who doesn't like to talk about food, right? So today, we're going to talk about the differences in food between New Zealand and the US, specifically foods that are supposed to be essentially the same. So like if you order pancakes in New Zealand or you order cheeseburger in New Zealand, are you getting the same thing as you are in America? Well, you're gonna wanna stay tuned and find out. So make sure that you click the subscribe below button and here we go. Stay to the end because we're gonna go through 10 exciting food types and you're not gonna wanna miss it. This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare.com is a wonderful online community where creatives can get together and learn from each other. So check it out, Skillshare.com. Okay, the first food type is pancakes. When you are in New Zealand as an American and you order pancakes, what are you gonna get? They are not gonna be the big fluffy pancakes that maybe you're used to in the States. They are either going to be small, well, they call them pikelets if they're small, but sometimes I've even gotten that when I've ordered pancakes. Sometimes you do get the big fluffy pancakes, but also sometimes you get crepes, is also called pancakes. So this is a good thing to know. If you're in New Zealand and you're ordering pancakes, it might look a little bit different. Okay, number two, coffee. Now I know if you watch my channel, I talk a lot about coffee. I love coffee, but we're talking about it because we have to talk about this because if you're American and you're in New Zealand and you order coffee, it's not what you expect. All of the coffee in New Zealand is espresso type coffee. They do not have drip drip coffee here, like the filtered coffee like they do in uh, the US. In general, you can get it, but it's going to be like the good kind of drip coffee with the fancy, I don't know, like they, I don't know, it looks like a chemistry experiment when you walk in. Um, but, <laughs> but you, I mean, they, they do have like a French press type, which is still a, quite a bit stronger than a drip drip coffee. And, um, and they have like, yeah, so I'm sorry, they call it a plunger. Not, you know, and then they also have instant coffee. So you'd be familiar with that as an American. But if you go to any coffee shop and you're ordering coffee, you're going to get espresso. And so you can't just say, can I get a black coffee? Because they'll be like, well, do you want a long black or a short black? And so you kind of need to know that. <laughs> and that just means, you know, um, I guess how much hot water you have in it. Uh, and then like the most typical coffee that you will, that is ordered here in New Zealand is a flat white, which a lot of Americans aren't familiar with unless you go to Starbucks. Uh, Starbucks has a lot of, is, has flat white and they've had for quite a few years now. So people will be familiar with it, but it's not like the typical drink. And you could always get a latte or a cappuccino or Americano or, uh, whatever kind of coffee that you like um, in any of these coffee shops. But just so you know, you can't just go in and say, hey, can I have a large black coffee? They won't know what you mean. And it certainly won't be in those big cups <laughs> that you would get in the US when you order a, a, a large black coffee, it's going to be. Okay, the third food difference. Now I'm going to talk about a bunch of food in this category. Let's talk about snack foods. The typical American snack foods. We have Cheetos, we have Oreos, we have Doritos, we have Pringles, okay? These are all here in New Zealand, but they are not the same. For example, the regular uh, Oreos or the double stuffed Oreos, the cookie doesn't taste the same and it doesn't have as much cream as you get in the US. So it is different. So if you come here like, it says Oreo, it looks like an Oreo, yet it doesn't taste exactly like an Oreo. Or like, okay, don't even get me started. Like I was so excited about the Flaming Hot Cheetos that was coming to New Zealand because that is my favorite American snack food. Of course, I don't eat it that much because it's not good for you. But um, you know, sometimes you just want a little flaming hot Cheeto and yeah, very disappointing. So all of these products are actually produced in Australia, a lot of them. And so we, they have food regulations over this part of the world that don't allow for a lot of the fake stuff that Americans put in their snack foods. And so the snack foods don't actually taste the same. If you try Pringles, not the same. Doritos, not the same, but actually probably the best of all of them. <laughs> Uh, and, but they don't have all of the flavors. Like they do not have Cool Ranch Doritos. So if you're coming here, I know a lot of you keep 
uh, messaging me if you're coming to the New Zealand, bring some cool ranch with you. They don't have those. Um, but yeah, really we can live without it. Let's be honest. But yeah, all the regular Cheetos, the Flaming Hot Cheetos, the Oreos, the Doritos all taste a little bit different down in this part of the world. And number four, cookies or biscuits. So if you want, a, okay, so if you're American, a cookie is a biscuit here, okay? But in New Zealand, if it's a chocolate chip cookie, it's actually called a chocolate chip cookie. It's the only one. I don't get it. Maybe comment below if you understand that, but like <laughs> they only call the only cookie that they call cookie is a chocolate chip cookie and they call it a chocolate chippy cookie here. Okay. But just know that the cookies are different. They don't really like, they do have soft cookies, but they, but it's not common. Like it's very common to have a very hard cookie here in New Zealand. It would not be common to have a hard cookie in the US. The vast majority are soft there and the vast majority are hard here. And that's because they always have them with a hot drink here, whether it's tea or coffee. And so, you know, when you have a hard cookie with a hot drink, it makes it soft. So uh, I guess that doesn't matter then. But yeah, they have a lot of cookie varieties that are very new and different to me. I still have not got through all of them. I think a lot of them come from the UK uh, but in, or Australia, and they're just like very different uh, types of things. Uh, their chocolate chip cookies are, mm, mm. I would definitely check out my new American recipe book if you want a good chocolate chip cookie recipe because it's mm, amazing in there and a really good cheeseburger recipe. So the link will be in the my bio if you want to check that out in the description below um and so yeah cookies hard in new zealand soft in the u.s skillshare is exactly how it sounds it is a platform where creatives come together and just in community can share skills with each other i personally love this platform because now i've become a youtuber over the last year and have a lot of skills to develop and so there's so many great classes on skillshare that helps you do that because i think that learning is lifelong and it's so great to do it in a community of creatives if you check out skillshare.com these are some courses that I would recommend. I would recommend YouTube Success, Script, Shoot and Edit by Marquise Brunley. He's like amazing. I was so easy to watch him, so interesting. And he gave me some really good tips on how to shoot some videos better. The second class that I would highly recommend is if you're on Instagram, which we all are, is a video on how to tell your story in like one minute or less on Instagram by Halise Harvez. And it's so good. And she is just so wonderful to listen to and so calm. And I really learned uh, some really good techniques with jump shots. And if you're at all involved in the marketing world like I am, you all know Gary Vanderchuk. He has a great video on here about context is key when talking about social media. I highly recommend watching this. Everything is so good that he always talks about in learning how each social platform has its own context and how you need to present information differently across different contexts. Skillshare is built as an online community for learning. That's all it is. There's no ads on this platform. You just go in and you can just learn and you just learn what's convenient for you, whether you're just, I'm, I do it when I'm waiting for my kids out of sports or if I'm on the bus or if I'm just traveling around or going for a walk, I'll just listen to it in my ear and it's just great. It's a great way to constantly upscaling your skills and your creative and getting motivated to try a new thing. There is no reason to not try Skillshare today. Click on the link below in my description and you're gonna get one month of Skillshare for free. Normally you get 14 days. If you click on my link below, you'll get one month for free. So there's no reason to not try it today. So go check out Skillshare.com. And number five, scones. Scones are a huge thing here in New Zealand. Definitely not as big of a thing in the US. You can certainly get scones, but we generally have muffins, uh, donuts, way more than we would have scones in the US, but also in the US, you I have never, and please comment below if I am like a crazy person who's from the Midwest and has never, I have never seen a savory scone in my life. And so it probably took me like, I don't know, three years of being in New Zealand before I finally tried one and now I did and now they're too good and wish I didn't try it. But yeah, they have like cheese scones here and date scones here. And there's like very common, they're in every cafe. But like in the US, you don't. Everything's 
uh, sweet flavored, more than a savory flavor for the morning treat. And number six, let's talk about burgers, right? I love a good American burger. But in New Zealand, the burgers always have beetroot on it. Sometimes they even have eggs on the cheeseburger. And they tend to like to cook the cheeseburger all the way through. Whereas an American, real American cheeseburger will have American cheese and it will have, you know, a little bit of pink in the middle because that's what's good. Um, and so it's very different. So when the taste of the burger is quite different. And also it's the meat here in New Zealand is so much better. You know, every, um, every, you know, it's all grass fed and very more organic and it's just so much better. And so like the meat already, already tastes different because of what the animal is eating. Right. And so, yeah, but beetroot, eggs, very different. And they also have their own tomato sauce, which is like the, the famous Wadi's tomato sauce uh, is what they eat here. And so it's, it's good. Uh, it's different. So like ketchup in the U.S. is much more salty, whereas tomato sauce is going to be sweeter in nature, but more like a real tomato taste, right? So it's good, but not for a cheeseburger. And they don't put generally like pickles on it. They'll put the lettuce, tomato, onion, um, mayo, I would say is common, or they'll have their own, you know, sauce that they put instead of mayo. But um, yeah, so burgers are different. Another thing to note about burgers is that when someone says chicken burger, they mean like chicken, like what well, American would think chicken sandwich. So like, okay, so chicken, so when they say burger, so it's, it can either be like meat, it could either be um, beef is what I should say, or chicken on a burger type bun is always gonna be called burger, okay? Whereas a, a chicken on a burger bun in the US would be called a chicken sandwich. So just know that if you're ordering a chicken burger, that's that's the difference. I'm just here to help you. Uh, yeah, so the, the way, just so you know, because like sometimes we're like we're talking about burgers a certain way and we think it's a certain, this is what we're getting. You're not, it's, it's, you're getting an actual burger bun with chicken on it when you order a chicken burger. But yeah, so they do put different things on it. Um, you know, you can still get bacon, you know, some places you can still get avocado, which is really good on a burger. But yeah, but again, check out my American recipe book if you want a good cheeseburger recipe. Now, if you're in New Zealand and somebody asks you to go get a pie, they are talking about savory. They are not talking about sweet. So in America, when you talk about pie, it's sweet. It's not savory. So just know that. The, the savory pies in New Zealand are like a staple here. Everybody eats them. Very common for a quick, easy lunch. You can kind of grab them anywhere. Uh, whereas in the US, you also have sweet pies readily available in a lot of places. So just know when you're talking about pies and you're coming to New Zealand, it's going to be savory. Now, wondering what they put in the pies? Well, the most, the co most common two are uh, mince and cheese or just mince which is ground beef, <laughs> sorry, just trying to translate, or steak and cheese is the other popular one. They also have chicken. Uh, they'll have ones with like an Indian flavoring to it. They'll have veggie ones. Uh, so there is a variety that you can get and it's kind of like the American chicken pot pie is how I would uh, explain it. Uh, so it's just like a pastry with meat inside and it's so good. So like if you don't, want to probably like love another food that's probably not good for you. Maybe don't fall in love with the pies, <laughs> but they are really, really good here in New Zealand. But yeah, savory in New Zealand, sweet in the U.S. Okay, and number eight, let's talk a little bit about sausages. It's good to know if you're American and someone says, hey, let's go get a sausage. Just so you know, the sausage is coming on a plain white bread piece with some butter on it and the sausage and you can just put your tomato sauce on that as well so just so in america though if you're serving a brat a sausage a hot dog it's always on a bun it's never on white bread unless you're like you know just eating it at home and you've run out of buns then you'll put it on white bread but here it's normal to eat it on white bread and like if you go to a what they call a sausage sizzle which they'll have at schools or like outside hardware stores <laughs> um you were getting are getting it on white bread and that's normal 
It isn't that they've run out of butts. That's how they eat the sausage sizzles here in New Zealand. There's your hot tip about sausages. And number nine, I think it's important that we talk about spreads. Spreads that we put on toast, on bread, on sandwiches. In the US, the most popular sandwich is gonna be peanut butter and jelly, and jelly being like a grape jam to translate to all my Kiwis out there. Um, and so grape isn't like a very popular flavor even for jam here in New Zealand. And uh, while, but I do think that peanut butter is becoming a lot more popular in New Zealand than it has been even like when I first moved here. Uh, but also note that in New Zealand, they use Marmite or Vegemite, uh, which is like a yeast based spread. It's like black color on their toast, very common on their toast um, or on a sandwich. Uh, so just know that when we're talking about different types of spreads that you're gonna hear about that. So just know that um, jam and jelly are kind of the same thing. Marmite and Vegemite exist and you should definitely try it. <laughs> and that peanut butter is probably like the most common spread that you would find in the US. And number 10, I've saved the best for last, is Mexican food. Yes, the U.S. borders Mexico, and so it has amazing Mexican food. Not sure what happened in the translation over to New Zealand. So just be warned, when you go to a Mexican restaurant here in New Zealand, you may not recognize what the heck is on this menu. How is this even Mexican food? Or they've taken like common Mexican things and they've switched it and put weird stuff in it, and you're like, what? what is this so like for example um yeah like they'll have tacos on the menu but the tacos will have things like squid inside uh cauliflower pork belly these are not things that you're gonna see in a taco in a mexican restaurant in the u.s i don't know if they're just trying to be fancy here or what but man sometimes you just want like a really good taco and mm, what is this? You will also not find similar uh, common things that you'll find in the U.S. Mexican restaurants like enchiladas. Probably like the most common thing that you order outside of a taco. Uh, enchiladas. So good. Chimichangas. I have not seen that on a menu. I have seen it on a menu. Not sure what they gave us. Not a chimichanga. <laughs> so anyway, I, don't, I, I remember us looking at it like, what is that? Is what is it? It's like wrapped in something. It wasn't deep fried. It wasn't like a chimichanga, right? And they do have margaritas, so have no fear. And they are really strong here, <laughs> is what I've noticed. They're small, but they're strong. Uh, and they come up with crazy flavors for the margaritas, which is kind of fun. So they do have tacos, but then they also have like odd things on the menu that you would never see on a menu in the U.S. Like in the U.S., you always get rice and beans. You get free chips and salsa at like every Mexican restaurant. Not gonna get that here. And it's gonna be really expensive. You're gonna get like, like in the US you can get like 59 cent tacos, right? Uh, whereas in New Zealand, they're gonna be like $7 for one. <laughs> and you're like, huh. And, and they're good and they're fresh and it's unique. So it's fun to try it. But yeah, the Mexican food is quite different. And I even find like cooking Mexican uh, at home is different. So like people don't know chicken fajitas. Uh, like I get, it's called chicken wraps here, which is essentially the same thing, but not the word fajita. And so I've had a lot of, like people have said chicken wraps and I'm like, what are you talking about? You know, like I'm picturing like a burrito type, you know, it's the same, but yeah, it's called a chicken fajita in the U.S. and a chicken wrap here in New Zealand. So yeah. So if you like have a passion for cooking Mexican food and love doing like a food truck or love the restaurant industry, come over here. We'd love to have you and your real authentic Mexican food. Well, thank you for watching my video today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I didn't make you too hungry talking about all of this food. Thank you for Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Definitely check out their link below and shop for my new American recipe book that I have adjusted with New Zealand ingredients and uh, temperatures and it's really good. It's all kind of like the recipes that you guys have requested. So check that out. I'll put that link below as well and I will see you next week. See ya.